while, I kind of felt like there was no one to talk to. And being in this club, I found out a lot more about myself. It's a really great club. I really like it a lot. I feel safe. I feel comfortable. You know, I feel like I can relate to a lot of people here. You know, it's like a big family. It feels lonely at times. You feel like you're the only one. You're dealing with this on your own. Even though you know you're not, it really does feel, you feel isolated and like you have nobody and joining this group is kind of an extension of your family and you feel that there's others you can talk to about things. It's not really just about us being gay being here. We discuss politics, politics. we discuss a lot of issues that we're afraid to openly say out there and I have issues too and there's a lot of people I can't really come up to and talk about it so being here I know I won't be judged I'll be supported. I know for a fact that I have gay students who come to GSA meetings go out on campus experience some sort of bullying and then they come back to me and say this happened to me help me and they won't go to another teacher because they don't know if that teacher will help they don't know if that administrator will help but they come to me and they know I will. I think straight people are in the Gay Straight Alliance because they want to support their friends, they want to support their family, they want to stop the bullying and the hurt that they have. They believe that this is an issue that needs to be corrected. I wish every high school, and for that matter junior high, that exists could have a GSA. But because I, I think it, it does make a difference. It may be a small difference, but it does make a difference. Starting the GSA, the community really got active and, and got angry. and. That's where I would say a lot of the really negative stuff came from. It was big news in our area in terms of the uh, school newspaper. They ran some interesting articles about just the uh, attitude on campus towards the club, but also in our local newspaper, there were all kinds of articles about the club, should we have the club, letters to the editor that went on and on and on about how horrible it was and who's going to run that club. Is Of course, it's got to be a gay person. We were on the nightly news. I mean, it was a big deal around here. I live for the day when the GSA does not need it. When clubs like the GSA go away because we don't have these issues. Because it's just a normal accepted part of society and part of high school culture and we don't have to, we don't need it because it's not a problem anymore. I wish we didn't need the GSA, but we do and it does serve a purpose.